we started here in San Diego in, in 2013, and we were Primo Wind, and we were just building a new version of a micro wind turbine. But we now are Primo Energy because um, when you're charging batteries, the combination of wind and solar together is the, uh, the best solution for that. So everything that we do today is, is hybrid. Um, we've sold units now across the country um, from here to Newport, Rhode Island, and from the Caribbean up to the Arctic. And so we've been tested, proven, and deployed in a bunch of different ways. Of course, with wind, everybody always mentions the bird issue. Um, we actually had wildlife biologists come out and study our wind turbines, and, and we don't kill birds. And in fact, the peregrine falcon there on the left it, uh, actually landed on that leaf while the wind turbine was spinning. So we also uh, went through Connect Springboard here in town, and we graduated. And uh, we were fortunate last year to win the most innovative product award uh, for the sustainability category for one of our products called the Energy Plant. So even though um, our product is, is small in the one to three kilowatt range, um, the markets for that are, are quite large in, in lots of different areas. Um, and uh, th there was a recent DOD report out that said to meet the current renewable goals that California has set, there's gonna be a need for 50 million micro wind turbines to, to reach those goals. So our focus is on primarily two products that we have, the energy plant, which is a completely self-contained, freestanding energy platform that has the wind turbine on the top, there's solar panels on the leaves, in the benches um, have all the electronics and uh, controller, battery, and so on. And it typically supports things like USBs, um, LED lighting, uh, can be a Wi-Fi hotspot, can uh, power um, cameras, and we even have sensors in there now for um, air quality and weather data. The energy tree is uh, very similar. It's just a little bit larger, a little bit bigger wind turbine, a little bit more solar, and it's just planted in the ground rather than sits in benches that are uh, freestanding. So some other uses, um, the energy tree uh, can really address some of the public safety issues that Marty just alluded to. And, uh, and then we even have small um, portable units that can be used in disaster relief. And in the hurricanes last time around, I actually brought a small wind turbine like that with me on the plane down to Barbuda. When I got out there, it was the only power they had on the island. Um, we're also part of a program over at UCSD called the Smart Transportation Innovation Program. And while our size units cannot power anything in the EV world, um, we're perfectly sized to handle the micromobility side with um, scooter charging or electric bicycle charging. So we have some other products that we've done and worked on. Um, there are still some places that uh, just a wind turbine loan makes sense. The uh, portable unit there in the middle is what we've used for, um, for the disaster relief, but it was originally developed for the Navy SEALs so they could have a backpackable unit to take out to very forward deployments. Uh, the Bimini is designed for um, places that have very consistent wind direction, sort of like in trade conditions, because that uh, wind turbine doesn't rotate into the wind, so you need a a fairly narrow um, angle for the wind to uh, operate. But it not only takes advantage of prevailing wind, it also takes advantage of the updraft along the building. And in fact, when this particular installation was done, there was no measurable wind, um, wind speed on the roof of the building. And yet we still had about six miles an hour of wind coming up the face of the building and the wind turbine was still turning. And lastly, our rewind is a, uh, patented product that we developed inside those cylinders. There's a wind turbine, there's a little venturi, there's a couple baffles so that you don't cause any um, back, um, back pressure on the source fan, but that, takes, that can fit on rooftop fans uh, that are 
are for exhaust air on buildings and uh, they're inexpensive and um, a lot of those fans, especially down here, go 24 seven. So it, uh, when you add the time factor in, they can be quite efficient. So when you're selling products that are meant to be used in ur urban uh, environments, aesthetics are really important. So this is one of our units the, um, in, in front of the Croc School of Peace Studies at USD. Um, USD has very stringent architectural requirements, so uh, we were really fortunate to get in there, and, um, and now we actually have three units there. So working with universities and then going down into lower grades, we actually now have uh, an, a curriculum that goes with our energy plant that reaches down to the fourth grade. It's all done to the next generation science standards. And of course, as important as um, renewable energy is in the world for the future, education is critical um, for it to flourish. So we have a great team, in-house engineers, a couple of them are with us today. And uh, we have about half a dozen patents and just got a first uh, patent allowed in Europe. And that's it. Thank you very much.